Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Nick Alex, and we finally got the sneak peek for Ebony Maw's Tier 3, and it will look familiar to Proxima's, but it also looks way different and super badass. So let's check it out. On the forums, they said, this member of the Black Order steps forth from the shadows. Many have tried to overcome the psychic abilities of this dangerous enemy. Few have succeeded. Face the words of the dark. We will announce the details of Ebony Moth through the additional notice that will soon be revealed. I believe it's going to be revealed later today, and then it will say tomorrow night, because you can see two days over there, uh, is the timing for the uh, update. And it'll be presumably, like all of the other mid-month updates, it will be a rolling update that happens live. You're not going to have to you know, wait for the game to go down for maintenance and come back up. You'll just be playing, you'll close your app, you'll reopen your app, and then you'll have a download to install. I mean, the the you, the uniform's already in the game, so we just need the tier three skill and whatever other surprises are, well, not are, but could be waiting for us. And that's actually what the rest of the video is about, is other potential surprises. But let's move over now to Twitter, where they said, the brilliant mind of the strategic fighter is what truly makes him dangerous. Ebony Ma shall test his new intellectual powers in the... 7.1.5 update so we're in between 7.1 and 7.2 now let's go ahead and see the actual sneak peek itself because it's actually pretty cool let me just make sure that all the settings are gucci and let's check this out boom we get the big old squidward and then this is the coolest part he's playing puppeteer very dark very spooky i like i like i like this is one of the best tier three advancement animations i've seen now for those of you wondering i don't think i don't well this could be his tier three skill i personally think this is going to be his tier three advancement animation but it could definitely be the tier three skill it's really really cool uh i don't think he's gonna be i don't mean to get your hopes you know dash your hopes and dreams but i don't think he's gonna be mind controlling world bosses or you know making a duplicate null and getting him to attack himself or anything like that but i really like this one this one's really good it's really on point with the kind of character that he is he's manipulative he is you know evil he's in the shadows he gets into your head and just like the oh that's kind of a cool place to pause and just like the proxima sneak peek you can see there there's the t and then the three lines so they copied the proxima one but that's okay because this you know this roundup of sneak peeks they're thematic for a reason right so the cohesion has to be sort of there if they had switched it up it could have been confusing and it could have led people to believe that maybe somebody else is going to be tier three who knows maybe we're going to get a re-up on thanos tier three but yeah so that is basically all we've got we know now for sure he's getting tier three we've either seen his tier three skill or his tier three advancement animation and we know that in t minus two days uh, he's going to come out so tuesday night is the uh, assumption here so that is all well and good, and that's actually pretty cool for Ebony. For those of you that are wondering what I mean by Tier 3 Advancement Animation, you can't see it on the native Tier 3s because they don't have uniforms yet. They really should create, by the way, a Tier 3 Advancement Animation for these three cowboys. They really should make one. But for every other character, you can see there the little uh, 3, the Roman letter 3, the Roman number 3, excuse me, and then the little arrow. So I can see his Tier 3 Advancement Animation in his different uniforms. And uh, in the case of Ebony, we will be able to see his Tier 3 animation in three different uniforms. And this is it for Quicksilver. Usually they're pretty, you know, sparse. There's not tons of detail. That's why I think that that animation there, it's pretty empty, right? It's just like a black void and there's just two of those uh, generic thugs. And we've actually seen those generic thugs several times. I believe it's not Vision. Maybe it is Vision. No, I think it was... Who did we get tier three recently? Daredevil? Yeah, I think Daredevil. You can see the, those those generic, yeah, those generic agent thugs in Daredevil's tier three. You see them briefly before he just beats the snot out of them and then wants to beat the snot out of you. And then you also see it, I believe, in Ant-Man. Ant-Man has one of the most hilarious tier three uh, advancement animations because it just makes no, well, it's not that it makes no sense, but it's just really silly. They're just flying around flippity floppity. And he's just like, okay, I'm in. Stealth mode kind of thing. And then Black Widow probably has the worst tier three. Maybe I'll do a video on worst tier three animation. Tier three advancement animation. She just brutally snaps the neck of this one dude and then just grabs a USB. Are you telling me that she had to break his neck and basically, you know, 
destroy his family, like his wife, you know, his, his partner and their kids or whatever, if they have them, they're going to get a letter in a week. Like your, you know, <laughs> your significant other was killed in active duty because Black Widow decided to get fancy when she needed a USB uh, key from his hand. Rather than breaking his wrist, she decided to break his neck. So <laughs> those, you know, those those guys, those are those random thugs or whatever they're not even thugs they're like security guards those random high-tech security guards they're the new meteor slash helicopter meme you know we had all these meteors and and uh and helicopters in different tier three animations now we're getting the random security guards in the tier three advancement animation bonanza so that's pretty much it for ebony and i think you know, at this point, if you follow the channel, you know, for sure, like you're like, yeah, Alex, this whole video has just been a recap of things that I already knew, plus some added hilarity. Fair enough. Thanks for watching this far, by the way. But then the next question is, well, what else could there be? Now, again, I don't like to speculate too much on this channel anymore. I used to do a lot more speculation, but times have changed. But uh, I think it's worth noting this time around, and it may be a byproduct of the last update, but you know, and again, any update that comes after an anniversary update for any game, especially mobile games, is going to seem smaller by comparison because that's the whole point of an anniversary update. You're celebrating something really big. You're celebrating a huge milestone. And those milestone get, milestones get bigger and bigger as the game gets older and older. For Marvel Future Fight, it's so impressive for any mobile game, especially one with this sort of playstyle, to make it to the six year mark. And so they they threw everything in the kitchen sink. They had everything for us last update. And I, you know, I couldn't find enough time to make videos because it was characters, it was reworks, it was rewards, it was game mode changes. There was literally everything you could possibly think of. Tons of quality of life changes this time around. And again, not judging, not criticizing, but this update is obviously not nearly as jam packed as the anniversary update. Obviously, they're not going to have the same amount of rewards. And they're not going to have the same amount of content because the team is just not big enough to pump out, to consistently pump out that much content, right? We had seven new uniforms and three of them or four of them were extremely transformative. No, wait, we had nine uniforms. We had the three for the guys. Oh, no, we had six. Except we had eight uniforms. Sorry, we had eight uniforms and five of them were extremely transformative if you include the mid-month Wanda and Vision. So... To have that, ever, to to expect that level of of you know dis, uh, you know design and, and sort of a product every update, not to mention dispatch, not to mention everything else, is unreasonable. But at the same time, it then leaves you feeling like, huh, this update's kind of empty, isn't it? Because essentially, what we've had or what we have this update is just the Black Order, and that's great. Well, we do have Super Giant World Boss. Not that many players are playing it, I suspect. I'm close, Mama. I'm close. But besides uh, Super Giant World Boss Ultimate, there's no new content, and it's definitely less universally like Dispatch. Everyone's playing Dispatch, right? It's just free passive rewards. Why wouldn't you play Dispatch? But for Super Giant, you're only playing Super Giant. You know, you're going out of your way to play Super Giant, and so I can see why people are feeling like the update's a little bit empty, and I can definitely see why after feeling that way, players are then gonna go, "Can I ever get a crit?" No, they're not going to say, can I ever get a creep? They're going to say, well, maybe the mid month is going to have more for us. And so that's why I wanted to just spend the second half of the video uh, sort of harmonizing. Not harmonizing. There's another word for it, but I can't remember. You know, sort of just vibing on what could have been for this mid month update. Now, it's definitely not too late, although they've already opened with the Ebony Maw sneak peek, which leads me to believe that it's the only thing in the update because. We already knew the Ebony Mob was coming in one way or another, right? We knew the uniform was coming. We knew there was going to be a sneak peek for this uniform. So if they were going to release something else, like if they were going to release one of the Eternals or if they were going to release Black Swan or a Thanos uniform or something, right? If they were going to release something else, they would have done that before the Ebony Maw sneak peek, not after. After seems strange. It's possible that they're going to do that, but in my opinion, it's strange and it wouldn't be what I would do. So I'm personally not expecting anything else from this mid-month update besides Ebony. Maybe there will be some tweaks to existing characters, like maybe they're going to change the distance, how far back the Black Order members jump on their transcended ability, especially Supergiant. By the way, small PSA, because I mentioned in a previous video that if you turn the SFX on 
for the Black Order, it allows you to cancel into their skills without having to use another skill to jump forwards. And it works perfectly for Black Dwarf and Corvus. However, it does not work for Super Giant. So my advice to you for Super Giant, whether you have SFX on or off, right now it's exactly the same. If you have a judgment, of course, this advice does not work. It, it works if you have a judgment or a rage. If you have anything else, any sort of proc, it doesn't work. But if you have a judgment or a rage, especially for something like Danger Room, where you can't always put the boss, you can't always sandwich yourself between the edge of the arena and the boss. Sometimes the boss just always stays in the middle, like Strife or Magneto. What you can do is you can do six delayed cancel uh, three, because one doesn't ha usually doesn't have enough distance to jump forward, but three does. You'll get less damage this way than if you pulled off the combo perfectly, but if you can't pull off the combo perfectly anyways, because of the distance, it doesn't matter, right? So I actually did this in, in Danger Room uh, t last night, and I, I got a one shot anyways. It was six cancel, six delayed cancel, three cancel, four cancel, five, and then cancel two, and then one. Uh, but yeah, that's sort of a small little PSA there. Super Giant does not benefit from the SFX on or off trick, unfortunately. It's only for the uh, Corvus Cull brothers, but yeah. So let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Again, there's still the possibility. We're going to see some quality of life changes. We're going to see some other things in the update. There's a possibility we see a new character or something like that. But at this point, I'm personally, my expectation is only a banging, uh, awesome Ebony Ma uniform in tier three that I'm going to appreciate and enjoy and want. And that's it. So yeah, maybe maybe that's not enough for you. Maybe it is. It's enough for me. But I want to hear below. I want to hear down below what you think. Either way. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.